Hello, welcome to a video showcasing my VRED Pro Design Studio. Before showing you how to set up the file, I wanted to show you guys how it is when you're actually experiencing it in VR. If you've seen my other videos, this is going to be very similar, but now I'm actually selling this on my website so you, you guys can use all of its abilities. So now I've actually added free roaming, and obviously I have these different viewpoints that you could change and customize to however you would like. When you select the viewpoint that's above these tables, it will it will add this ball on top of your controller. And if you hit a speed form, it will change the color. Obviously, you could change these to any color you want. And here we have different little environment spheres. So we can look at it from the outside or the inside. And if you touch these tools, it will activate the different tools that I have in this file. And right now I have the, the rotation tool. And I, I also activate the switch at the same time. So this way I could look at the file and, and look at it rotating and I could compare it from the old version to the new version very easily. And this is all programmed right into the file. If, um, if you select the rotation tool, it will reset the orientation of the car to its starting position every time you turn off that tool, making it very easy to go back and forth. And here, if you click on this white sphere, it turns out diagnostic shading. And, and this sets the, the speed form so that you could do a little more better surface analysis. And um, one of my favorite ones to use is the stripes that are sort of running through the car. And it's, um, it's very valuable to see it in VR. This scene actually comes with uh, about 500 lines of code that I made to, to make all of this possible. It's, uh, I, I always encourage to go through it and see how I accomplished this and use it almost as a, as a learning tool. Another, another tool that is set up for, with this file is actually my virtual reality camera. So whenever you're doing a review, if you wanna sort of take notes and um, you know, record a picture of a certain part, this, um, this tool helps you do that. And it's all set up through Python and it sets up viewpoints that you could render out and save for this session making it very easy to start making progress and using VR very, very efficiently. Now that I have all the pictures that I want, I will show you guys how easily I could sort of render these, these images. And after that, I'm gonna show you guys how the file comes, how to set it up, how to import your car, and how to change the, the viewpoints and, and just in general tips and tricks on how to use this file. Now that I'm done with all the picture taking, I'm actually going to make the shot. So I'm going to add, open my camera editor and my V sets. And then on perspective, I'm going to add a new track because the camera shot tool always adds the camera shots to whatever is on the top of, uh, of, the, of the tracks. So there in your variance sets, if you can see, there's a camera shot one. And all you have to do is click on it. Or, or I also have it hotkeyed up to V. And there, now, now once you click on it, it, automatically all the shots that you took while you were in virtual reality become viewpoints. And here you can, you can make them into renderings and send them off to the different places they need to go. Now I wanna show you guys how to set up the starting file. When you open the file, you will see this sphere that's sort of like a placeholder. And it's located under your car, turn, place, and VR switch. This is where you're gonna import all of the all of the different cars that you want to use. So right now I'm just importing all of them and under environments I use use from scene and then I import it. You have to remember that with this file, the the placement of the of the graphs and the names are very important to the Python scripting. So don't delete any of those random nodes that are blank. Those are all very important. Now remember to take a look at my other file where I talk about prepping a file because all of my all my imported cars are always prepped because you shouldn't do any real prepping inside of these VR environments. The ambient occlusion won't come out right. Um, it's not really made for that. So once, once I have imported both of these cars, I put them under the VR switch and then I delete the old, the old stuff. After you have set up the switch, we have to make sure that the paint and the environment are correct. So go into your materials and select those two cars and go to car switch main and hit apply environment to selected nodes. Then we need to make sure that the car paint is is a uh, car paint switch is on the bodies of both of these cars. To check what paint the second car was in, I selected it and then I saw that it's in metallic blue light and not the switch. So I just have to go back up to the switch and use my middle mouse button and drag that into the car body. 
and now all those speed forms will make sure that that car body changes. If you want to customize the, speed, the, the colors and all that, that's actually very easy to go into your V-Sets and under VR Sets, there are, are all the switches, um, speed form switches. So if I click on him, you can see which ones affect which button. So all you have to do is change the material on the speed form and then change here on the, on the V-Set what, what it does. The last thing I want to show you guys is how to make custom viewpoints. So if you unhide the view node, you'll start seeing all of these view spheres. And if I turn on my wireframe, you can see those little balls is basically where they're pointing to. It's very important to move the correct node and not like the spheres. So if we go under our view um, node graph, we'll, we'll see that I have them all lined up and, and make sure that you always move the ones that are, are titled view and then just turn on your transform tool and move them to wherever you would like and feel free to move anything or eliminate whichever view you don't like and um, and reorient them to to whatever position you want another thing you could do is you could also just add more so like let's say out here i want to add another one i'll just go edit duplicate and and just duplicate it and then that will automatically make a view 17 and i could place that wherever i want now the first thing to do when um, when setting up a new a new viewpoint is you have to delete the old ones that were made previously. So go into your camera editor and under perspective views, and then just delete all of those viewpoints. Now we need to run the code that makes all of these. So go into your V sets, and it's called makes viewpoint, and I have it hotkeyed up to M. And uh, so all I, all you have to do is press M. And then there, all those new views are officially made. And whenever you turn on your VR, uh, you'll have your new custom viewpoints. After that, you can enjoy your custom VR scene and you could use all the tools I have in place. So um, if you did buy this, uh, thank you. Uh, all those proceeds go to, you know, paying for these licenses and giving me more time away from client work to, you know, focus on lessons. So it all everything really helps out. And um, thank you for watching this video.